back in 2012, my first company started really bubbling. And it's like, wow, the internet just neutralized the playing field so I can compete with these big brands. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you don't have to be a personality, but being a personality, you can really flip it and monetize mm -hmm. it in a big way. And what people don't do, they don't, they, they, sometimes people are short sighted. So what they'll do is they'll take, uh, they'll take a quick dollar from someone who's going to pay them to talk about some product. You know what I mean? When, if somebody's going to give you, let's say five grand a month, mm -hmm. right. To talk about their product to your audience, they're not stupid. They're making probably 15, 20 grand off of you talking about that, mm -hmm. their product. So you could be doing that for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So people, they don't, a lot of people don't have that self-belief or that awareness that they can do it. They're afraid to do it. People used to a paycheck. But I'm like, no, you should be afraid just getting a paycheck because can, they can stop it. You know, they can, for whatever reason, stop paying you. And then you rely on that. You asked out. One thing you said, I've been living by this since college. I read uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad mm -hmm. by Robert Kiyosaki when I was like 20 years old. I'm like, this is perfect. The one thing I, I really took out of that book, he was like breaking it down like, you know, it's, it's not realistic that everybody's going to just hit a home run like Steve Jobs. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you got to have multiple streams of income. So I've been like that from the start, just like you, man. Like it, Now it's gotten to where, you know, certain companies make so much money, we just let it sit. We just reinvest in the business. Yeah. Um, the goal is always to sell at some point, yeah. right? If you're sucking everything out, you're not going to be able to do, scale in the right way. Um because I did have a company, one of my companies, we did, we were just living off the money and it was good money, but we couldn't scale like mm -hmm. that. You know what I mean? When it was, it was like, man, the demand was coming. We didn't have enough for inventory and shit like that. People don't take that into consideration. But even outside of that, now we like master all of that. Um, now I have, you know, the, you have the opportunity to like, you see an opportunity. Like I saw an opportunity with Snack House. Yeah. The capital was there to just easily just take it yeah. scale up make it bigger better you know what i'm saying put it on a bigger scale and you know you can you can take those you can do those things but you got to be disciplined with your money yeah people when they're making money they want to just spend it you know what i'm saying you can't do that right absolutely so well you shouldn't you can do whatever you want but it's not the best thing to do you know what i'm saying because you never know like you said something a, a channel might might close might fall you know what i mean and one thing i've I'm proud of is like, like my my sites all get tons of traffic, tons of sales, right? Whereas in there's people that only do Amazon and they kill it, but Amazon is somebody else's situation. Yeah, they can punish you. I've seen the horror, I've heard the horror stories. You know what I mean? If you don't want to play by their rules, the buy button's gone and all kind of crazy stuff, and the fees are heavy, and and it's just somebody else's platform at the end of yeah. the day. You know what I mean? So, you know. But I play the Amazon game too, but I got my own setup. I got my own e-commerce right. situation. You know what I mean? And, and I just, that's why I say and do whatever the fuck I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I'm not confined to anybody's rules. I've done deals with companies years ago to where, like, they talk me into doing a brand. They're like, all right, cool. And then they're coming at me about, hey, you know, post like this. Or if not, you know, we kind of dock the pay. I'm like, look, you know what? Just keep your money. I don't take these deals because I hate these stupid emails like this. You know what I'm saying? So you, you, we good. Let's just keep the relationship cool. And just I don't even want to do this. You know what I mean? So people that, and there's so many people. Listen, you have, ladies and gentlemen, you got followers on Instagram, whatever. I don't care if it's five thousand. People think that's not a lot. Put five thousand people in front of you. That's a lot of people. Convert five percent of that a day. Ten percent of that a day. You making money? You know what I mean? You don't have to have the biggest following to convert. Now, I'm going to say this as well. Have something meaningful to sell or a meaningful uh, service to provide. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes people are ambitious and want to do something, but they don't, have, they don't have an idea of what they want to do. I feel like the foundation of being successful in business, you got to have the marketing savvy, all, savvy, all of that. But you got to have a quality product mm -hmm. or service you know what I mean? And quality customer service. Treat the people good. You know what I mean? That's that's the foundation. You know what I mean? Because in the beginning, I made a lot of money with no no back end anything, no ads, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? Just on, on, on me and my dealings with my 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 network, my community. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, 
and having dope product mm-hmm. or dope services. 